So uh, first thing I want to I want to walk through. Uh, you may or may not know these things already, but I want to walk through some foods that uh, you should be consuming on a daily basis that are also or a weekly basis. You know, a couple times a week, because not all of these taste good to be honest. But they are probiotic foods. They're going to help you. Uh, to repopulate your gut with the right flora and they're also typically pretty low calorie which is is uh, generally great for uh, if you have to some if you have some body fat to lose so uh, not only are you going to be feeling better less stress but uh, you'll actually be quite full eating these foods and they're pretty low in calories uh, so the first one is actually kefir now a lot of people already know about kefir it's a uh, basically like a fermented yogurt type food uh, anything that's fermented is generally a good probiotic food. However, sometimes uh, you know beer is fermented. The yeast in the beer and uh, for a lot of people, the gluten causes some problems with their gut health. So that's not an excuse to drink a ton of beer. Uh, I see you. Some I know some of you are thinking that. So kefir is a it's like a fermented yo- yogurt that uh, is actually got a ton of probiotics in it, and uh, it's definitely something that I recommend looking at. See if you like it. Uh, you might not really like it but you know the typical kefir actually contains between 10 and 35 strains of probiotics so there it's very rich in different types of bacteria um so next up is uh just in general yogurts uh so if you can get organic grass-fed yogurts uh, things from from cows that you know the source of the cow uh, if it's if it's a grass-fed cow it's not pumped full of hormones antibiotics that sort of stuff that they do for the commercial cows uh but if you can get a, a good solid source of yogurt especially if it doesn't have a ton of sugar added to it uh, or other chemicals added to it just check the check the uh, ingredients list and uh you know the yogurt's also got a ton of probiotics in it um, sauerkraut is not only rich in probiotics but also it's very high in vitamin c and some other vitamins and minerals you know you either love it or hate it some people hate it some people think it tastes funny but some people love it and it's also you know people We'll typically uh, eat it with like traditional German foods like potatoes with sausage, that sort of thing. Uh, and if you get high quality ingredients for all of it, it's, it makes a, actually a really good flavor combo, especially with some mustard. Uh, so sauerkraut's a really good option. It's got a lot of good uh, enzymes in it. Uh, raw cheese is another one. And I typically only have people, I only recommend people eating cheese if it's, if it's raw. And again, if you know the source of the cow, if you can get a grass-fed cow that that you get they get the milk from that cow to make the cheese it but the cheese has raw cheese has a ton of probiotics in it you know that's probably the only food on this list that's not really low in calories uh if you eat a lot of it but some people with this these strong raw cheeses you can't really consume much of it because the flavor is quite strong but it's very very rich and it can really uh, spice up some some recipes for sure um, kimchi is another one uh it's basically it's chinese cabbage it's a very uh t- traditional korean food for those of you who haven't tried it before, uh, but it's kind of like a spicy Chinese cabbage. Uh, there's, there's, it's mixed with red peppers, garlic, uh, garlic, ginger, radishes, onion, fish sauce, and salt, uh, and that's pretty good. And then the last but not least is kombucha. Uh, I know it's become quite a big trend, and I actually first time I drank kombucha, it's like this fermented tea. For those of you who haven't tried it, uh, it's actually slightly alcoholic because it's fermented, but um, not not so much. Like you're not even gonna get a buzz or anything off it. It's very low percent, I think under two percent alcohol so uh, the kombucha is actually it's got a weird taste kind of like a a vinegar taste but you get used to it it's one of those acquired tastes that you actually start to crave it's it's very good it's full of uh, probiotics